Good morning everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. If you're stopping by for the first time, thanks for stopping by. Grab your cup of coffee, I've got a mini haul today. Um, so I wasn't really planning on doing this and then I thought, why not? Um, and like I said, it's just a really small haul. I will start with the biggest package here first. Move these to the side. So I've been interested in getting a couple of things from Stationery Life, which is what I got this from. Shipping was relatively quick. Put that to the side. And let's see here. Let's just make sure I'm in frame. So this is a really quick haul. I just got, um, or small haul I should say, um, from Stationery Life. I bought these stickers to go in my journal. Just make sure that you can see those. And I got some Midori index clips. I've been seeing people use these and I think it's a really good way for me to um, tell on my journals the difference between sections that I have kind of parsed out. So I got some of those to try those out. And as you can see, the color of the stickers, so I think my receipt, yeah. Um, so that's what they look like. I love these kind of stickers where they're um, transparent, like clear on the background. I just think they show up better in your journal. So I wanted to try those out. And then I got a Midori MD Cotton blank book for um, sketching and drawing. I wanted to try this because it's supposed to have cotton paper in it or it's all cotton paper. So I wanted to try this out for watercolors and the like. So that's that really small haul. Mm, coffee, sorry. Really early in the morning here. And then um, I've seen these stickers for a while from Coffee Monster Co. And I just really wanted to try her her stickers out. Um, I've seen other people do these in their journals and I just think her, her stickers are really cute. So I just tried to find some that are around coffee. I'll look for some ones for exercise later. So there's that. And then the next item that I got is from Van Ness Pens. And I know I don't need any more, but there were a few ink samples. Let me just pull out the receipt. Um, that I wanted to try and I need ink like I need a hole in the head but I just couldn't help myself and yes I've got my swatching book here as well so we're gonna swatch these oops I forgot to get some cotton balls hold on just a second okay I'm back sorry about that um I've got some supplies here now so I can properly swatch these inks I got these inks from Van Ness pens um, so let's get started and I've got my swatch book out as well. I bought, looks like four different kinds of inks. I've got, um, Van Diamond's Wilderness series, um, Azure Kingfisher, which is a shimmering ink. I bought, um, Deepwater Blue from Vinta and I've got two Ferris Wheel Press inks. I've got April Showers and I've got... Madame Mulberry, but I bought two of the Azure Kingfisher from Van Diamonds and two of the April Showers from Ferris Wheel because I think those are the ones that I was going to like the most. So these are the Ferris Wheel Press April Showers. This is the Wilderness Kingfisher from Van Diamonds. I've got two of those. Then I've got Van Diamonds, again, Kingfishers, that's the second one. So let's just put those like that. I've got the Venta Lucia, which is going to go into my currently inked series, which I'm going to shoot a video on shortly. That's April Showers. And then I've got Madame Mulberry. These are two, the um, Ferris Wheel Press ones are two of the newer ones that they have out. I'm going to try to use my glass dip pen again, even though I don't really particularly care for this one. I think my nib is chipped on it so it kind of can be drippy um actually i think i'm going to go ahead and use my other cheap uh plumix pen from pilot actually i'm going to go ahead and use that one at least it shouldn't drip as much so i've got a page open into my um book here 
try to binder clip this so it stays flat for the sample. Wow, this is really tight. I'm doing this off camera because I'm fighting with this binder clip because it's too tight. Great for sketching, not so good for ink sampling right now. Um, just see if I can, well, I'm gonna have a hard time kind of keeping this flat, so I'll just clip this end in since this is not the focus. And let's do this. Move these to the side. Got some water over here to the side as well. And let's do, we'll do Ferris wheel press. We'll do April showers first. So let me zoom in so you guys can see what's going on. And dipping it in like that. Okay. So this is Ferris Will Press. And this is April Showers. Me get a clean. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I need to get a Q tip swab. Get a few of these out so I don't have to keep fighting with them. Yeah. This color is really pale, as you can probably tell. Let me see if you guys can see that up close. A really pale color so I don't know exactly you know sometimes when you get inks from Ferris well sometimes they can be kind of saturated and sometimes they cannot be this is one of those cases where they're probably not the most saturated and let's just see if I can get more ink on here it's a rough start for our Sunday I'm a little sluggish this morning I'm sorry guys um, but we will see what happens here. So um, I'm writing this with the Pilot Plumix. And I switched out the nib of this um, Plumix because I've got it on my Metropolitan pen because I really hated it. So <laughs> this has got the um, Metropolitan um, Politan Fine Point nib on it. Actually, it's doing a pretty good job. Well, it's well behaved, albeit faint, but it's there. And so let's do and on this ah, not too not too bad on that one. So I'm gonna just rinse this to the side and grab the next Ferris Will Press, which is Madame Mulberry. And hopefully my nib has um, been flushed properly. And we'll do the next one. Okay, so this is Press. This is a thinner purple kind of color. Um, there we go. And this is Madam. Oops, I'm running out of ink. Mulberry. And I don't think this is um, reflecting well because. We just use this other tip of the Q-tip to get the little swab in here. Another kind of light, very um, faint ink, which they looked, I think they were heavily or swatched when they showed them up on the website that I got these from, from Van Ness. And let's do this Pilot Plumix. 
pen I used. Um, yeah, this is a really faint ink. I've got some ink over on this side. It does not reverse right at all in this, actually. I'm going to have to dip this again. So the concern that I would have with using this ink, and I'm glad I got samples of this because I don't think I would actually buy bottles, is that it's not light fast and that this would fade over time very quickly. And you need a, um, a bigger nib than something like a fine point nib because it just does not come out of a fine point, especially a Japanese um, nib, very well. Um, let's see here, ABC. Let's do this. Not needing to do a big writing sample because this is just a swatch. And kind of wet, but I think it's just because I've got stuff in the nib. Um, yeah, so with those two, I would definitely probably recommend at least a medium size nib um, just to kind of get a better feel of the ink and how it's really flowing. Okay, so I've got. Van Diamond Kingfisher left, and I've got the Venta uh, Lucia, and I'm going to do the Venta Lucia because I really like this color. Okay, I was like uh, starting to look at my footage, and I noticed that Venta kind of fell off the camera, and so did um, the last the last two inks that I have fell off camera. So I'm going to show you what they look like on Rhodia paper. I know it's not the same as the book for the other ones. I'll show you what it looked like in the book once I'm done because looking at the footage um, <laughs> post edit, I was like, oh, you guys really can't see that. So um, I'm gonna do the Venta again, which fell off camera, like I said. So this is the Venta and I've got this, um, I've angled my camera differently. This is Venta ink. And this ink is Lucia. Beautiful blue ink. Um, again, I'm writing this with my Pilot Plumix pen with a um, Pilot Metropolitan. Just make sure you guys can see this. Pet Metropolitan Fine Nib. Just switch those out. They are switchable. All right, so let's do, I'll do A, B, C, and one, two, three. Um, let me do a little corner up here to see how the wetness is. Kind of a wet ink, not too terrible. Um, let me just do this, put this into the side over here and give you guys a color swatch of what this looks like. It's a beautiful blue ink. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Lastly is the Van Diamond's uh, Kingfisher, Azure Kingfisher. So let me just do that. Oh. Okay. I also went and grabbed a shot glass to hold my ink in. I saw somebody do this on YouTube. And I think this is a great idea. So anytime you're kind of risking your little ink sample tipping over, the shot glass kind of holds it in place and kind of contains that from occurring. So let me just rinse off my pen nib here. Make sure I got all the last stuff out. And this in here. This is, let me just get this right. This is Van Diamonds. This is the Wilderness series. Let me make sure I'm in. Okay. Wilderness. Series and this is Azure King Fisher, and this is a shimmering ink. Okay, so let's see here. This is with the Pilot Mix. 
all of them. Fine. Yep. Okay, so we got A, B, C. One, two, three. A little ink sample wetness test right here. Look at that square. Oh, that's great. Okay. Let's do that and then let me swatch this one more time. See if we can see what some of the shimmer looks like. If not, I think I'm going to grab a more robust nib than the fine point, but we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so those were, let me come back up out of here. Those were the two that I had. This is what the ink sample swatches looked like in my book. I'm just going to see if you guys can see any of the, there's the Kingfisher. That's a little bit of the shimmer action on it. Get that little green goatish kind of color going on. Really pretty ink. I'm really looking forward to using this ink. Um, all right, so that's the quick little mini haul that I had. Um, I hope everybody liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you have any questions or comments below on the mini haul and the things that I got. And um, stay tuned. I'll just kind of square this out, bring this up. Everybody have a good weekend, what's left of it, um, or whenever you watch it, have a good rest of the day. Um, please stay safe and stay healthy. Take care. Bye.